Hi there, Briar here for Mindset Mama. Thanks for joining us on our closet organization. Do you ever feel overwhelmed with the amount of items in your closet? Do you go to get dressed in the morning and just feel completely exhausted looking at all the choices or you can't find that item that you're looking for? Well, we are going to organize my clothing closet um, today in this video. Please take a moment to like and share this video organize along with me and if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe to the channel to continue on with this organized series as part of our clear out an organization to help decrease stress anxiety and overall help our mindset when we are at home here we go So here is all of the clothes that I am currently getting rid of from my closet clear up. All right, so here is a full pile, small pile. Down below is uh, nursing clothing, large pile all for donation. And then I've got a pile of clothes that I'll be attempting to post online and sell. And we'll see how that goes. And if they don't sell, then they will also go to donation. Okay, so here is the end result. Shoes across the bottom. And eventually I will continue the double tiered shoe shelves along my side here. Um, we did add in two new bottom shelves here, along with the top shelves that were already there couple extra sweaters on the top and then across the top I've got my bags the bins um, down to just three so in the furthest we've got I know they look overflowing at the moment but um, summer clothing um, and then we've got sports bras and non nursing bras um, that I have up there and then hanging clothes so as you can see um, you know, jackets, dresses, long skirts, long sleeve shirts, um, pants there, um, and then lots of extra open space, which is really lovely because I can spread things out and I don't need to worry about um, things being really crowded. I know it's all pushed to one side at the moment, um, but I can spread things out now without having to worry about having space. And I can see everything clearly. I know where everything is, you know, sweaters, um, tights and workout pants, pajamas, socks and underwear in the next bins, tank tops, t-shirts and whatnot in those. Um, and that is it. And it feels wonderful. So all in all, I did this in very small chunks, but it probably took me about four different chunks of time. Um, each probably about 10 to 20 minutes. Um, and then of course the shopping trip for the extra shelving. So all in all, not too bad. I did it fairly quickly. I tend to actually clear out my clothes um, at least once a year, if not like two or sometimes even three times if I'm really motivated. Um, and it always amazes me. It gets faster for sure each time I do it, but it always amazes me that I still have so much to get rid of. Um, so here are the questions that I ask myself when I'm trying to determine if I'm keeping something or not. Number one, have I worn it in the last year? If I have worn it, did it fit nicely? Was I comfortable and was I confident in it? 
If I haven't worn it in the last year, what would change this coming year to make me want to wear it? So um, maybe it's something like that bin of bras up top um, that I haven't worn in a while because I've been nursing children for the last four years. They are um, expensive, good quality bras that I know I'll wear again in the future. So I'm keeping those, um, you know, but if there's, I don't know what else would change quite honestly in my life right now that I would actually start wearing something. But for some people, maybe they're going back to work in an office. Maybe, um, maybe they are moving to a different climate and they might need something. Um, so if you think you're going to wear it in the next year, then certainly keep it and see how that goes. Um, Next question, would I buy it again? So would I get in the car, go to the store and purchase that item again? And if I wouldn't um, and I haven't worn it in the last year, then it's gone for sure. So those are the questions that I tend to ask myself as I'm going through all of my clothes and I'm clearing out. I'm sure you've heard tips and tricks about turning hangers backwards when you put things in the closet, um, when you're reorganizing to see if you wear those in a certain number of months. Um, every time you wash and put away your clothes, you put them back with the hangers facing the right way. So then you can easily see what you haven't worn in the last three months, six months, a year, however often you like to do this. Um, so that's definitely one way to do it. Um, and then just making sure that you can actually visually see everything in your closet. If everything is so ram packed that you can't actually see what you have, you're never going to um, end up wearing all of your clothes. And as you probably have heard, statistics show that we really only wear about 10 to 20% of the clothes in our closet. And that is pretty astonishing, having that many clothes that we don't wear um, that somebody else could be wearing, right? So I know often when we're trying to make that hard decision about letting something go, um, I really try to focus on the fact that if I'm not wearing something or I haven't worn it in the last year, somebody else out there was probably um, dying for that certain type of outfit or that certain clothing, um, that certain type of dress or that pair of workout pants that is just sitting in my closet that somebody else really, truly, honestly could be could use. Um, so that's what I try to think about if there's something that I'm stuck on letting go. So that's it for the closet clear out. Um, I encourage you, if you haven't already started, go get started. Do it in stages. And you don't have to do the full con Mario, take everything out all at once. If that's not your style, do it by just shirts or just t-shirts, just tank tops, or just your shoes. Just get started. Doesn't matter if you do it all at once or if you do it over a whole week like I did. Just get started and take that first step. Talk to you soon.